Hi guys, welcome back to this special series on building seven use cases of machine learning on Android. Now till now we have integrated image classification and we are able to analyze images both by picking the images from the gallery and also by clicking images in the camera. So in this video we will refactor our code so that we can reuse this image helper activity and also we will do a code lab from Google which is building a custom TensorFlow light model to identify the type of flower in the image. Now, if you go to Google developers and go under learn, you will find some pathways. So this is the pathway which is called go further with image classification. Here they actually explain how to build this custom model. Now most of you are machine learning enthusiasts, so I will not be going into that part. But you can take this code lab and uh, the final step of this code lab is to export this model which can identify five types of flowers. So these are the simple data set that Google used. And this is the same TensorFlow light model that I'm going to be using today. If you don't want to take this code lab, uh, I will put the link in the description on where you can download this TensorFlow light model. So let's get started. So first let us go back to our image helper activity and let us rearrange our code to make sure that the path which are common to every image activity are together and the parts which are not common are separate. So if you see here this file, it will always be required in the image helper activity while this image labeler is actually part of the normal image classification. So let us keep these things separate. And now if we come to on create, so that likewise, let us just put the image labeler at the end of it and on request permission result is actually not required because we didn't go over that too much. So this is to pick the image. So all the image labeling and image analysis will require it. And the same goes for start camera, create photo file and even on activity result. So if you see uh, what we are doing is at the end of each step of picking an image or taking a or clicking an image from the camera, we are calling this run classification method with the bitmap as the parameter. So let us just keep this function as protected so that everybody can override it. So let us go back to our Java package and uh, create a new package called image. I'll create one more activity. So I'm not going to create a new activity, an empty activity because I don't want the layout. The layout is already handled by image helper activity. I'm just going to create a Java class. And this is my, and this is my image classification activity. Now this actually extends our image helper activity. So I'm just going to override two methods on create and run classification. So on create needs to call the super method while, uh, while run classification does not. So let us take out the parts that are meant for image classification. So this member variable for image labeler will come here. The initialization of image labeler this will also go to the on create of image classification activity. And finally, the run classification. So you can see one thing is missing that we don't have access to the output text view. So I'm just going to come here and create um, one more protected method called uh, get output text view, which will actually return the output text view, which our uh, downstream activities or the image classification, image classification activity can use. So it is just going to return the output text view. So likewise, let us also create a method to expose the image view. Might come in handy later. Okay, now let us go here and instead of directly accessing it using the variable, we will use the helper method. Okay, 
so yeah everything seems to compile and be ready let us remove these additional spaces and even the imports okay so now one more thing that we have to change is when we go to main activity we don't directly launch the image helper activity we will be launching the image classification activity and uh, even in our main layout let us rename it to go to image classification so that is all the changes that is required to refactor our code so let us just test it out so you can see the text has got updated to go to image classification now if i click nothing happens that is because we have not updated the manifest so now instead of having an image helper activity here we should be having an image dot image classification activity so if you try to launch an activity but you don't declare it in the manifest this is what happens it is just going to crash the log will actually say activity not found exception while the activity is there the class is there but it's, it's not been declared in the manifest so android doesn't know about it okay so let's try again so you can see now it works and uh, if i pick an image so you can see the classification works so our refactor code is done so the next thing is i will create is a flower identification activity so again i'm just creating a class not an new empty activity so again this is also going to extend the image classification activity and i can actually So again, need to override two methods and run classification. Okay. Now, before we go ahead, we need to add the custom library. So if you go back to our build.gradle, which is the module build.gradle, it should say module ML series demo that app. You can see we have added a ML kit library, which handles image classification, but this is the inbuilt image labeling uh, to do a custom one we need to add one more library which is actually quite similar it just says image labeling custom and the version is 16.3.1 so once we add a new implementation a new library we need to sync our project might take some time okay so the project has synced and now we can go to flower identification so our main uh, you can say member variable is same we still need an image labeler and uh, we can actually go to image classification activity and copy the run classification method also because in so what this code lab does is it takes the original image classification and adds one more layer of neural network to identify the flowers so instead of just outputting everything every kind of image classification it is only going to output us so it's going to add another output which will tell if this is a flower which kind of flower this is out of those five data sets that we have provided so before we add this code we actually need to add the tensorflow light model so let me first copy it so for that we might have to come back here click on the app right click on the app and create a new directory called assets so you have to scroll down and select source main assets okay and now if you go if you do okay sh i open in explorer you can see there is an assets folder and so 
So I'm just going to paste the model underscore flowers. If you want the direct link, it's in the description. So done. You can see now the studio is also detected that there was a change. And let's continue with initializing the image labeler with the custom model. So the first thing that we need to do is define the local model. So we are going to use the set asset file path because we have put this, uh, uh, we have put the TensorFlow Lite model in the assets folder. So here you will just need the name because it's at the top in the assets folder. You can actually create subfolders inside the assets folder. So if you're creating subfolders, you need to give that related path. So for us, it will, it will be just model underscore flowers dot tf light and dot build. So our local model is ready and now we are going to create the image labeler. Okay, so now our local model is ready and now we will create the custom image labeling options which through which we can finally define the image labeler. So first custom image labeling options, just keep it as options dot builder dot builder and this builder will take our local model. And then we will do the same thing, set, uh, set the confidence threshold as 70%. And if you want, you can set a max result count of five. We know for sure that we have only given five data sets. And then finally, we create the image labeler. If you remember, it was image labeling dot get client and we'll just pass our options here so yeah this is the thing that we need to do to include a custom tensorflow light model okay let's run it and see if it works uh, so how to run it we will have to go to main activity and add one more button so let's go to the layout file first and just copy this button so let's just make it button two this text is going to change it will be flower identification and we will have to create one more method let's change this since we are here already okay Now we will have to change this, otherwise both of the buttons will be together. So constraint top to bottom of ID button. So now if you go to split, you will see that the flower identification button comes below image classification. Now before we forget, we'll go and add an entry in the manifest also. So activity name is flower identification and exported is for true by default. So let's leave it at that and let's run the app and see if it works. So our app is up and let's click on go to flower identification. So I already have some images which have flower data. So Roses and daisies are one of the flowers that this model can identify. So you can see it has correctly identified a rose. Now if I try with daisy, you can see, yeah, it works. So you can see again, if we just refactor our code and set up the Android app properly, it's very easy to integrate these MLK libraries and you can have a POC up and running within hours. So I hope you are enjoying this series. If you have any doubts, please leave them in the Discord channel or in the comments here, we will surely try to get back to you. Also, if you want to learn Android with Kotlin, the new recommended programming language for Android development, please check out the free detail course on my own YouTube channel. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.